Hello dear students of class 4th. Dear students, in lesson 7 shapes, we have already learned about different types of shapes. And today, we will learn about tessellation. And we will do question number 3 and 4 of exercise 7.2. So, let's start. Dear students, you have already learned about different shapes. These shapes are of great significance in our daily life. If we look around, so many objects hold resemblance to these shapes. Even these shapes are visible in designs of floors and roads around us. Students, you might have noticed that the various styles fixed on floors and roads follow a particular pattern. And there is no gap between the tiles and no two tiles overlap each other. Dear students, when we fix similar tiles on a floor in such a way that there is no gap between the tiles nor the tiles overlap, this formation is known as tessellation. So, dear students, have you ever made designs according to tessellation? No? Then come. Today, let's learn how to make designs according to tessellation with tiles of different shapes and colors. So, students, first is triangular tessellation, where triangles are arranged in a pattern and see on fixing these triangles, there is no gap between them and no overlapping. This quilt is a tessellation made of triangles. Now come, let's arrange square tiles. Students, in square tessellation, squares are arranged in a particular pattern. Apart from floors and roads, can you tell where square tessellation is visible? Yes, it is visible in checkerboard. Checkerboard is the best example of a square tessellation. In same way, the pattern of bricks on a wall is a tessellation made of rectangles and is the best example of rectangular tessellation. Apart from these, we have seen the designs of various styles of different shapes around us. Students, we can create different designs by using tiles of various shapes according to tessellation. Come, let's solve the questions of exercise 7.2. Question number 3 is, complete the pattern by filling right colors. Look students, in this design, the colors are in a particular pattern. First red, then green. And then again after green will fill red color in the upper part of the triangle. And in the triangle after red color we will fill the green color. So dear students after filling the green color one thing we should notice that we are following the same pattern by filling the right color. And by using the right color we will complete this design. Students in tessellation, the colors are used repeatedly in a particular pattern as they were previously used. See students, we have completed the design according to tessellation. Now we will solve question number 4 of exercise 7.2. Which tile would complete the following design? Students, here 4 tiles are given and we have to choose the correct tile to complete the design. So, first we will keep the tile of option A to complete the design. So, does it match the design? No, it doesn't match the design. Now, let's check the tile in option B. Does it match? No, it doesn't. Now, in option C, does it match? Yes, it does. And it complete the given Pattern. Now let's do part 2. Dear students, here first we'll check the tile in option A. Does it complete the pattern? Yes, it does. The tile given in option A complete the pattern. 
Dear students, now it's turn for the question of the day. From the given designs, which design represents tessellation? So, dear students, here two designs are there and four options are given. As you have learned about tessellation, so tell which design represents tessellation. Yes, design 1 represents tessellation because in this design, tiles are arranged in such a way that there are no gaps and no overlapping. So, option A is the right answer. So, let's take the option A. And now, it's turn for your homework. Dear students, you have to solve question number 3 and 4 of exercise 7.2 according to tessellation. Thanks.